Well, hello there, Masky peeps, on this marvelous Monday, June the 12th. How are you doing today? Yeah, it's a fantastic day, isn't it? Hopefully you have an outstanding time. Yep, changing lives, one house at a time. So what am I talking about, changing lives, one house at a time? I'll explain that to you in just a moment. Yep, I'm Masky Finance. I'm not a CPA, not an attorney not a lawyer, CPA, not a financial advisor. <laughs> I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist. But how am I changing lives one house at a time? And how can you help with this? I'll explain to you both things. Up in the Midwest, up north, in the northwest corner of Indiana, there's a small city called Gary, Indiana. Okay? It back, well, 100 years ago had a population, 180,000-ish. And then by 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, the population was dropping and it hit a low somewhere in the, I think 68-ish thousand, I think, around there. And I think it was in the 90s, crime really picked up a lot. Homicides picked up and murder picked up, drug use picked up. And there's a period of time it was called the most miserable city in the United States. And you will still hear people call it the most miserable city in the U.S. But people live in the past. And the internet sometimes lives in the past. Because Google, the most miserable city in the U.S. And you, Gary, Indiana might pop up. Because they're living in the past. Because when you have the most miserable city in the U.S., sometimes outsiders start coming in and they start changing things. Okay? Now, when you have a big city like Detroit, Michigan... It's harder to do. They lost a lot of people. They've had Starbucks come in. Talk about Detroit. They've had Starbucks come in, some other stuff come in. But still, it's a very big city. Like, I forget how many million of people. Millions. So, it's harder to change them. It's like changing a moving train. It can be very, once it stops, it's hard to get going again. <clears throat> Gary is much smaller. Say it's roughly 70 ish thousand people. Okay. A lot of houses are in disrepair. A lot of houses are falling down in that city. But the houses that are remaining, they are getting rehabbed one house at a time. Not just by me. I have a group that I've helped. And I've been out of my group collectively. Out of all the people I've helped, I should say we're between 80 and 100 houses. 80 to 100 houses that we have bought, and not every single one's been renovated by now, but a lot of them have been, okay? Personally, I own, I think, 20 houses up there. A young helicopter pilot, Caleb, owns 20 houses up there. Millennial Mike might own a dozen houses up there. My two boys own houses up there. Other people own houses up there. And as time goes on, we fix them up, we clean them up, we get better quality tenants in there than what they used to have. Some of the properties we bought were almost like they're, we bought them from slumlords or owners who just did not have any money to fix them up. We have now cleaned them up, fixed up, and gotten better tenants in there. What that has done, that has helped to change the city one house at a time. We are not the only person doing this. We are not the only group doing this. There are other investors doing it. I dare say other investors are doing it just for the money. Just for the money. Part of the reason, and yes, I'm doing it for the money, but part of the reason I'm doing it is because I want to positively impact that community. I don't live in that community, but I want to positively impact it because I've looked around the country at different areas. If I start buying in Memphis or in St. Louis or in Kansas City or somewhere else, I can't make the change like I could potentially do in Gary. Okay, What I would like to do in Gary is... Between myself and others, I'd love to, at some point, if we can ever do it, basically buy, buy every house on a block that every house is in disrepair. Maybe some need to be torn down, and maybe by then my pockets are deep enough, and I'll build a brand new house. Or maybe your pockets are deep enough, you can build a brand new house. Or maybe we'll rehab some 1950 houses that are already there. Okay, we'll make, and we'll just we'll collectively own the entire block, and we'll make it a nice block. Every house will be a nice house. Okay, so how can you be a part of this? Okay, you could reach out to me if you want. And there's four of you I still need to call back. Okay, and 
maybe you want to buy property there. Now keep in mind, the great deals I bought just a couple years ago, those deals are kind of a thing of the past. Okay, I won't say you can't find very good deals there, but I was looking over my portfolio and I bought houses for $33,000. I bought a house for $18,000. I bought houses for forty, fifty-five. dollars I think the most expensive house I bought there was $69,000. And my houses are now worth, most of them are probably worth pushing $100,000. Possibly 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120 for some of the big ones. Okay. <clears throat> so how can, else can you be a part of this? Well, I'm at a point now where I can't get a normal conventional mortgage. Okay. I'm working on paying houses off where maybe myself or the missus will qualify at some point in the future, but not right now we can't. I've reached out to two different people about private money, but so far I haven't gotten any private money. Okay. If you're out there and you're looking for a passive investment and you're interested in partnering up with me somehow by assisting me with private money, reach out to me. My email is always in the description. Or if you're a beginning investor, <clears throat> but you don't have time to do everything I'm doing, maybe you could partner up with me in some fashion. You would put up more of the cash to buy the property and you would get my expertise with my contacts to make sure we buy a good property and make sure we got the good contractors that'll fix it up. Okay, if you want to be part of Maskey's goal of changing the city one at a time, let me know. We'll figure, we can maybe figure something out. If you just want to be, if you just want to bankroll Maskey so he can do more work there, let me know. I will give you fair terms. If you, what I mean is if you want to loan me money, I will give you fair terms. I, we can negotiate on like the length of payback, the interest rate, so on, so on, so on. Or if you want a little piece of the pie, you know, maybe we'll negotiate on that. I'm flexible. Okay. But now with that being said, if you contact me and say, hey, I want to buy a house today, you might not have that great deal, but it depends on where you live at, there might be a good deal or a very good deal. Okay. There's always deals out there. I don't live there, so I can't go talk to sellers in person. I am going to visit there pretty soon, but I am going to be very busy. I'm going to be driving around, I think, to 60 some, 67 houses, 68 houses, driving by them, not going inside, looking at them, and taking pictures of them and making notes of the condition of them in, on the outside. I won't be going inside. They're the ones, they're houses that we own. I will be keeping my eyes open as I drive. Maybe I'll see a for sale sign. Maybe I'll see a house that just strikes my fancy that maybe it needs an investor to come in. I don't, I'm not gonna have a lot of time there, but I will do what I can in a short time. I'll be busy. All right, so anyway, my email is always in the description below. If you care to be a part of what Maskey's doing, let me know. If you just want to become an investor, let me know. Let me know in the comments below if you want to just, if you are investing, if you haven't reached out to me before, if you feel like comment below, let me know what you're doing. Do you own real estate? Do you buy stocks? Do you buy crypto? What do you do? So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I need to go for a swim out there today. And that canal is high tide. It's getting right up there. There's still shade on the dock and there's a fan out there. I might hang out in the dock a bit. And Maskey's house is for sale. Maybe you want to buy it. It's a nice house. So with that being said, have a great day. Maskey's signing out.